Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I hope you're doing well today. This is my Meden, M-E-E-D-E-N, black paint. I'm going to use it as a base layer to lay down some colors in a swipe pattern, if there is such a thing. <laughs> I think my swipes sort of exceed any known pattern sometimes, because lots of them are very curvaceous. This is an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. If you've been around a while, you know all about this. Best paint spreading tool I know of. Although I've done a better job on camera before. I might have been able to use a little bit more paint. But I really don't actually mind not having an overabundance. So it won't glop up anything. But I do have to keep moving it to where... There isn't any, so it's all covered. And the thinner the paint layer, the faster it dries. It's a great tool, especially with the Floetrol in my paint pouring mixture, which is below, show more underneath the video. It's a great tool for priming canvases with another layer of paint. And I'd like there not to be too many lines, but I'm about to put lines in it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I primed the edges of my canvas before I started. I've got some silver. I've got more silver than I know what to do with. But I kind of want to use it up, so maybe this is just going to be a plain metallics theme. Let that drain upside down and go for the gold. And copper and yes, I think some copper. That's a bronze. Here's my Decor Americana copper. Let's go for the turquoise. Actually, I mixed some turquoise I kind of want to play with. It should be relatively iridescent. It started with a new color called Dragon that's from Folk Art Color Shifting Paint. I'll wait and see what I want to do with that. Do I want any purple in there? Maybe a little bit. I gotta be careful. It's I do tend to want to use the same colors all the time. So let's just see what happens. I'm gonna grab a swipe card. I think I'm gonna grab some more Amsterdam black that has pre-stain wood conditioner in it. As long as it's gonna open, I've got something in my tip. Come out. Oh no. Okay. Well, that's not convenient at all. But I've got a bunch of that black paint on there. And I need a whole bunch more, so I'm just going to open up the bottle and pour it in there. Rather than squeezing it out. I'll figure out what else is in there afterwards. So I'm going to use that paint right there. And I'm going to knock off my paint on the edges. I was, I think I was saying uh, pre-stand wood conditioner is by Minwax. And this is just a really freeform swipe, I think. And I want to use all my paint. Some on the edges will be fine. I 
I like the purple in there. I wish I'd put more in. That was a bubble. Maybe it's not too late to put a little bit more in. And use the paint that's on my card. Yep, that's okay. I think I'm going to have some in here. I think that was a little bit of a mess, mistake in there, but let's hope I can rectify it. Let this go right over the edge. I think. want some more turquoise right there and I might want some more purple with it. I never know what the tones mean on my phone. I kind of wish I'd put some white in, some white metallic at least. It's just a basic, fun, free-form, swiped ab abstract. Put some more. Oh, I like those. That little texture is great. Oh, and I've got texture by dropping my card in there. That's pretty cool. And I like it. Where else? Not as sure about that one. I'm really tempted to add another color in there, but I honestly really kind of like it the way it is too. Let me throw a little bit of gold right on the edge of my card. Yeah. Add the odd line. Because I can, the name of my first book on the Amazon link next to my second book called Unlimited Possibilities. That's what I like this feels like right now. I think the first the first painting I sold for a good price was had some pretty interesting lines in it. It was just spontaneous, intuitive art. Where's the purple going? Right there. I think I'm just going to keep playing with this by putting paint along the diagonal edge of my card. Yep, still liking that. I know I could put it right on the canvas and dip into it, but there's something more satisfying by far. Putting it right down, on, putting it on the card, and then choosing a spot. I'm almost done. Maybe I'll do a little bit like that. Let's see how I like it. I like it okay. I kind of want to do it with the black, and I can, because it's right there and it's already kind of polluted. Chances are all it will do is um, sell. Sell up. 
as opposed to... I do sell my artwork. <laughs> Speaking of sell... This was fun. I'm going to have to do more of these. I don't think I've done one that looks exactly like this. It's kind of energetic. I think I needed more copper. There isn't nearly enough in there. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I'm going to tell you guys that there are over 93,000 of you, or very virtually, very close to 93,000 of you. There should be, really, by now. Because today, there's 92,800 and change. And this is not going to get posted today. I'm having too much fun. I can't stop. So I will torch... I love those little marks. I really could have put some white in there. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I got some great cells. I got a brand new tank of gas. It's really, really loud, really, really hot. I'm glad I put that purple in there. So I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the work I do. It helps support the studio. If you are interested in helping keep the studio working well, then there are all kinds of ways to do that. The first one is to watch the uh, videos longer. I had a pair of tweezers and I need it. Maybe I'm going to grab it all by my onesies. Right with a fingernail. Somebody's walking their dog by the house. That's why you hear dogs barking in the background. So what else can I tell you? On the end screen, there's a video on the last 20 seconds. That's an exhibition video, and it will share with you what the monthly prize drawing prizes are for anybody who has contributed through PayPal or Patreon. I'm not sure I'm done. Because that little puddle of paint keeps calling me. These little silicone tools are my Amazon link. My Amazon link is on the link tree. The link tree is the first blue link under the video. I have a brand new clothing line. Woo! Yay! And uh, it's on Le Gallerist. If you are looking for less expensive clothing, look on Teespring Clothing for all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. And Pixels.com and Fine Art America. All of them are on the link tree. Should you have a question, please ask me. I'm happy to answer. If I know the answer, I will get back to you. If I don't know the answer, I'll probably tell you that too. Um, what else? I better look at my crib sheet. Uh, my email address is directly below the Linktree link. And if you have an inquiry about taking a class with me at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, I do give classes. I do sell my artwork. You need the hashtag and the file number from the title of the video if you're interested in something that's not included in an exhibition video yet. All my exhibition videos are on playlists along with other playlists. 19 playlists of 100 and topic and genre. And if you need a link for anything, please just ask me. My Amazon link is a great place to shop and it helps me buy art supplies when you shop there at no added cost to you. My two books are there because I can and unlimited possibilities. My Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, is for students. And I show tomorrow's video there as well as on the community board, which is my YouTube channel. On my YouTube channel, you can find the PayPal and Patreon icons on the bottom right-hand corner of, of the channel headboard. Headboard? <laughs> of the channel banner. And uh, should you happen to be somebody who makes a contribution to keep help, keep me help making... Hmm, can't talk anymore. To help me make videos, then you'll be automatically entered. I prefer PayPal because it's all the time, and Patreon is only once a month at the beginning. So, if you have questions, please ask me. Did I say that already? Thank you for all the wonderful comments. You leave me all the time. And thank you for the donations that help keep me painting. Please don't forget the thumbs up. And watching longer is the most important thing you can do to help an artist out. 
Uh, if you watch the commercials, that doesn't hurt. But sharing is a big assistance too. But watching longer is the number one helpful thing. My paint pouring recipe is below the video. I torched to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I like this. I'm happy with this. I'm so happy with you guys. You inspire the heck out of me. I'm so glad you're here. I hope to see you again. I post every day and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights at 10 o'clock also. I don't think I left anything out. <laughs> Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links are on the link tree. If I didn't mention that, I'm going to mention it now. I will see you guys in on. I love you much. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying, see ya. Bye.